I'm Chef Wendy Brody from Art of Food with your town as the culinary host. And today my guest is Ken Goble. I've always known him as Cookie. Welcome, Ken. But first I want to, well, I'll let you introduce your official title of Salinas Valley Memorial Hospital. Oh, great. That's a, yeah, it's a, it's a mouthful. Uh, it's a, a Senior Administrative Director, Nutrition and Environmental Services, the acronym of which is SADNESS. Oh, <laughs> God. Anyway, you have been with Salinas Valley for close to 30 years, um, starting out as a consultant, you mentioned, and then wove up the ladder all too quickly, and has you've distinguished yourself in so many ways over the years. But I've known you through the culinary uh, the American Culinary Federation, our local chapter, Yeah, we've Monterey known each other Bay. for quite a while. And it's such a pleasure to have you. Thank you. How did you get started in all of this? In, in my whole food service career? Yeah. It is, it is actually <laughs> kind of cute. I um, uh, started off by, um, I graduated from a, a high school, a military academy. I went up to Oregon to college. And... Uh, I only got about eight credits and they were all in PE. And while when I was ready to get out and go get a job, my mom had been taking college classes uh, on how to keep their kid in college. And so <laughs> she entertained me with the idea of uh, taking some culinary classes and going through a hotel and restaurant management program where uh, I would meet girls, she said. And so I thought, what the heck, I'll give that a shot. Well, there was only two girls in the class, but I, I did kind of fall in love with the whole culinary scene, the garmage, salad bars, and whatnot. And, uh, from there, I, I um, went on. I was going to do some work with some restaurant design down in um, San Diego and uh, went down there. And I was going to do some more science classes and got caught up in chemistry. And that's a weed out class. And it, it weeded me out. And uh, <laughs> I asked them what other kind of major they had down there. And they said health science and safety. Oh, so I was going to be a health inspector at one point. And uh, when uh, I graduated with those two and took a little time off. I went looking for a job and uh, this company called Food Dimensions who leases out food service directors to um, healthcare facilities, retirement facilities and hospitals uh, to run their food service departments. He thought he had struck gold. Little, little did he know I was almost a college graduate but uh, here I was with a health uh, degree and uh, one in the culinary world and so that's how I I landed that job with Food Dimensions. They bounced me around to a bunch of hospitals and retirement homes. I was Sacramento's uh, area uh, uh, catering uh, a chef for a little while. And then um, uh, from there, it landed me at uh, Salinas Valley Memorial Hospital. And uh, that's where I've been. Ken, that, that is, I'm exhausted just hearing <laughs> your schedule. But it is so rare to have your background with all of our chefs courses and so forth the health and safety we weave that in but not to the extent you've had it and so salinas valley hospital is so lucky to have that kind of heavy health care background and i was curious how you how you ended up with both so strong in each area. I still keep a hand in the whole health care. I'm um, on the uh, uh, the Food Safety Advisory Council for Monterey County Health as, as well, so I keep close touch. I remember uh, going safety, to yeah. an event you helped put on at the fairgrounds. Um, yeah. And then uh, tell me about all these ribbons. Of course I know what some of them are. <laughs> well, your medals, your my regalia. Me my re your regalia. My regalia yeah, it's, it's kind of an awful lot to put on all at once, but this is the, uh, uh, the, sh the Chef of the Year, which I believe you have as well, correct? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I so do. this is uh, Chef of the Year for um, the American Culinary Federation in Monterey County. This is the uh, La Tote Blanche which is a, a chefy club, yeah, and is. and then uh, Disciples of Sco a Scoffier, yeah, and they that's... give you a little wine sipping cup here. I think yes. that's what it's called. Oh, no, it's a cookie. Uh, thing. Uh, okay. Now, the name Cookie, I've always known you as Cookie. When I first got started at Salinas Valley Memorial Hospital, the uh, foundation and some of the docs decided they wanted to do this trail ride, and I had just started, and they came and they hunted me down, and they, they said, we want you to do this trail ride, but the food has just got to be over the top fantastic. And so as I started to move through that process, they started to call me Cook, and one of them picked it up and started calling me Cookie. 
So I got dubbed Cookie, and then my assistant was Wishbone. So it was always Cookie and Wishbone did the trail ride. Oh, right. how darling. Yeah. How so the trail rides were a lot of fun. But let's elaborate, because I went on, there's a mail, um, and it's Australia. What's it's a, um, um, Australia del Valle yes. is the women's, and the men's is um, Los Paseos uh, de los Rancheros, the riders of the ranches. And you go to a different huge ranch every year. Every year, a different ranch. And I was so blown away. I, I went for about three years when I had a horse and I was a novice. But the individual camps, they decorate the camps. You've got a great bar that they have different bar, uh, signature drinks that are made up. But the buffets and the trail rides where you're greeted with a bag of lunch, but please, I, I can't talk enough <laughs> about it, so I'll be quiet it, and it, you it, yeah, talk it, it about did, it. it. Over the years, it did turn out to be a, a, a basically a hotel we built on these ranches, and uh, it, it's, it's, if you've seen it be put up, uh, you know, from the, all the vehicles driving in, uh, seven or eight truckloads full of stuff, multiple tents, tent city as it were, uh, and then barbecues. We made it a lot about the foods, and we used to do something called Cookies Grays on Fridays and Saturdays nights, and I'd have 35 little appetizer stations, and uh, Only 35? Yeah, I mean, it was How more food than... How many of us were there, usually? No, the, the women always had better numbers. They were up around 200, and the men around 150, and wow. so... Uh, yeah, and then I did uh, paellas, and I did seafoods of all kinds, abalone ones, all kinds of meats from all over the world, game meat. One year I was serving rattlesnake, and they, I was cooking it off the barbecue, and they were eating it. And We actually caught some rattlesnakes that day in the camp, and they thought I was actually catching them at the ranch. <laughs> it was inspected meat. Um, and, uh, yeah, so it was just a lot of fun. I got a lot of accolades through that over the years. Oh, I, I couldn't believe it for breakfast. It was, I mean, there was an omelet station, there was a pancake station, there was um, everything. I mean, there, it, the line, it was serpentine. I can't tell you how long it was. I called it an action buffet. And if, uh, yeah. It was. And so as you, we cooked everything in front of people as they went through. And yes. uh, there was smoke and flames and we'd yell and scream. It's not exactly a polite barbecue because you had to take a shot of tequila to get started down the line. Remember that? Oh, in the morning? In, I missed yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, did you was miss it that in one? the orange juice? <laughs> it, 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 yeah, it could be. And there was tequila <laughs> squirted into the watermelon. But uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, oh my goodness, oh gosh. Then I got to know you through Rancho Cielo, um, the wonderful, um, what, Culinary Academy that uh, uh, the Drummond Culinary um, Center, he helped fund it, Bert and Catino and you and a bunch of us are on the advisory board. But you're active with that, I helping am. out, and um, what other awards and businesses are you with? Awards and businesses? Uh, well, I, I well, got... Well, I mean the associations, I'm sorry. Um, well, I was... Go ahead. Yeah, no, you've got the three ribbons, which we mentioned. I'm yes. kind of drawing blanks on some of the other ones. Well, the, the distinguished for your uh, lasagna. Oh, the, the lasagna. Yes. Um, so that, that was back in the mid-90s, and uh, I was on the board of directors for the food bank uh, for Monterey County. And so on uh, World Hunger Day, yeah. we decided to do a, a publicity uh, thing where we would... Uh, make the, this world's largest lasagna. I couldn't get Garfield out there. We did try. <laughs> uh, and um, so uh, we uh, made a lasagna that was seven feet wide, 70 feet long, about seven inches deep. I was big into sevens. And um, I shot for 7,000 pounds and came up with 8,188.5 pounds of lasagna. It was about 1,200 portions of lasagna. 
the pan was one continuous pan, and we had valley fabrication that made it. They brought it out on two 40-foot uh, flatbeds, and it took uh, four forklifts to, to get it off and set it down. We put sand on the uh, asphalt. We put kiln brick on top of that, and then we put this pan on top, and they welded the two pieces together to make the one continuous oh pan. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and then um, from there we hired, I think it was the PG&E um, at that time. Their employees came out and um, we broke them into seven different teams and so straddling this pan I had these teams and we had all this food all prepped and uh, everything and so I'd blow a whistle and they'd put the first layer on then we do another layer and and um, I think it had 14 total layers we tried to use all the produce uh, from around the area we did um, um, uh, you know we had mushrooms we had ground meat we had spinach we had uh, broccoli slaw we had carrots I, I wanted some artichokes and when they, they donated me was uh, artichokes in, in picante sauce and oh. so we put that in so we wound up calling it uh, cooking and wishbones uh, uh, barbecued, south of the border barbecued lasagna or something like that. And um, uh, so, and then we covered it with foil. We put mesquite underneath it and we basically boiled it. We got it up to temperature all the way around and weights and measures came out and measured it. And uh, I, I believe we're still in the book, uh, uh, Guinness Book of Records. And, uh, and where actually did the, a parking lot or a football field? Yeah. How? <laughs> it was, it was at, the, at the food bank. They, they had a, a large enough space there where we were able to, to do that. So it was on the ground with sand and what? The the kiln Chil bricks. The, oh, that's right. The kiln right, bricks, the and, kiln then, bricks. and then the uh, mesquite, uh, and uh, then the pan, and um, uh, you know, we then we filled it up with lasagna, and uh, you know, we lit the um, uh, the mesquite, and that takes about thirty minutes to get hot, and it was boiling in uh, wow. uh, a matter of about uh, forty minutes, uh, and then we rolled back the foil, and we had made these little. Um, shovel-like things out of hotel pans where we cut off, a half pan, where we oh, cut right, off the front right. side, put a handle on it, and so you could cut and scoop, and we poured it into uh, half pans, uh, disposable ones, and we moved it all into freezers. Well, I think we, we, we fed the ho homeless for months. They, they were getting uh, left lasagna for breakfast, lunch, and dinner in the <laughs> soup kitchens. I, I think they started to, to move out of the area because they got tired of the lasagna, but uh, it was a lot of a lot of fun, a great, great publicity stunt for the food bank. Oh, how incredible. How long did it take to cook it? You said not very long? Well, again, it took about 30 minutes or so to get the mesquite up. Uh, right. You put enough lighter fluid underneath something, it could, yeah. it, and mesquite burns hot, and these pans were just this far off the ground. And uh, it was about 45 minutes. It might have been an hour, but uh, um, it, it, it brought it up to a boil. We, we got nervous it was going to start to get a little dark on us. Underneath I mean, stuff. I think this needs to be more publicized. This is a huge thing for Monterey County to have the world's largest oh, lasagna. It, it, it made national news at the time. It, it, uh, I know, but it should keep going. It should what, keep what, going. What, what yeah. year was that? 1993, I believe. 1993. So that was a ways back. Oh, know. my goodness. Yeah. Well, coming back to the hospital, you were telling me you just recently put in a room service. So hospitals, uh, room service menu. Correct, yeah. So tell us about that. Sure. It may be actually interesting and, and desirous. Valley, yeah, Salinas Valley Memorial Hospital, not unlike a lot of hospitals, have a traditional tray line where um, you get all the orders from all the patients and we take, we batch cook. We take mass quantities of food to match all these diets. It's not like a buffet where you got meat, potato, vegetable. We got like 70 items you'd bring to the tray, uh, to the tray line and um, then you'd make everybody's trays and you'd serve everybody at once. You'd do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm -hmm. Well, that kind of, the trends in, uh, nationally right now is that people eat meals later and they want to eat when they want to eat and um, order, order what they want. They actually get healthier. Uh, they eat better if they're choosing their own foods. And so we did uh, some uh, equipment redesign in the kitchen and, and went to a restaurant style uh, design for the kitchen and did a, a, a single menu that matches all diets and we have a call center and the patients call down. Some patients we ha have on assist where we go to the rooms and take their orders and the, uh, 
get the order and not not unlike a hotel room service it comes down we make the tray and we send it up and so we got a fabulous menu uh, chef um, uh, Jason Giles, uh, a local chef, uh, chef of the year. Yes, a uh, uh, couple of years ago. 2015, mm -hmm. and uh, so he's working that menu. And we, some of the comfort food we do, like meatloafs, we do them in little bread pans, and uh, when we fan them out and on the plate, and uh, you know, we got we got nice steaks, we got chicken, and it's fresh off the grill. It's cooked all in minute, you know, and and so we're getting fabulous. Uh, we're getting some patients that are putting it in their Facebooks, and so the the social oh, wow. media is starting to show some of our food. So it's it's a big success. Oh, how incredible! But now going to another side of yourself, the hobby side of your my hobbies. I, I hear you make wine. I do. Yes, I have a um, uh, a group of friends. My son went off to, into um, uh, to Sonoma State and got a degree in. Um, uh, the business side of wine, and oh. so father and son hobby pursuit, right? Oh, and so we wonderful. planted, we planted uh, vines in the backyard, about a hundred of them, and um, that didn't give us quite enough grapes. So we wound up going down the valley to uh, buy some of the local. Uh, um, uh, high quality grapes that we have and uh, another friend Bill Helwig joined us and the three of us partnered up and we started making wine with very sophisticated lo logo <laughs> or label on this bottle you know it's very high-end yeah, white tablecloth yeah. Chateau de Shed <laughs> and, and so um, but it has been met with a lot of kudos and so I know I auctioned some of that off recently. I've taken that to some of the chef events. And yes, I, I did have a taste, and I was so delighted with it. And you said I might be able to buy a bottle sometime from you. Yeah, Bert, <laughs> Bert Catino gave me my my best compliment. On it. He he was sampling wines, and I I asked him here try this, and he goes mm hmm, and he goes off and, and he came back and he goes where's this wine? Wait, who did this wine? He says this is good. So I mean that was fabulous that he would come back and compliment the wines. So it's good. Yes. That was yes. that was the shed red. Yes. Well, any plans for the future that are in the works? Um, well, cookbooks. Uh, uh, cookbooks. <laughs> I I have collected recipes. I don't know if cookbooks work in this day and age, but uh, um, maybe. I mean, coming up in a few weeks at the hospital, we have the hospital's picnic for thirty five hundred people. We're going to do a Salinas barbecue. Uh, so I got that, and I got some other things going on, but. Uh, Mostly, I'm enjoying these 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 yes, clubs. Re, and, uh, yes, it's about time. It, it really is. You just are so inspirational. Um, Any one in particular besides your mom and uh, other friends that were an inspiration to you? Oh, an inspiration to me on the food service side. Gosh. Uh, I think when I first joined the ACF, uh, Bert, everybody winds up working for Bert. Yeah. Sex. He, he pulled me into the Rancho Cielo thing, and, and so he's been a, a, a big a pleasure to work with. He, he was one of mine, too. Yeah. You know, it's been such a pleasure, and I hope maybe you'll come back again to have you on Ken yeah, Cookie. cookie yeah. <laughs> well, but anyway, congratulations on all the work you do. Um, I don't want to get sick and go to Salinas Valley Memorial Hospital, but if I do, I'm going, I'm coming to yeah, you. Yeah, you, you, you stay away, <laughs> would you? But if you have to, it's a great Thank hospital. You. I'm Chef Wendy Brody. Thank you for joining us today.